Y'all know what it is, House of Sage TV, back with another five-man review. Go ahead and leave a sub, or go ahead and drop that like if you mess with this video. We just gonna get straight into this review. Vampires, The Masquerade, Blood Hunt, Free Play for PS5, and Steam Players. Microtransactions. Like any other free-to-play game, of course, it has microtransactions. This one also has a battle pass, but like any other battle pass, this one is for free. Now mind you, most of the customizations come from battle passes and earnings in the tiers from leveling up in a battle pass. <clears throat> As for there's other ways, like there's a shop you can purchase other cosmetic items. But for you to even purchase cosmetic items, you can either pay real money for in-game currency or you can just level up by playing the battle pass. It fairly has a nice customization, you know, I feel like every customize really feels good. But other than that, let's move on. So we're going to go ahead and talk about the archetypes. There's two for each class. As you can see, Brute and Vandal. They're kind of the same. Each character has a main ability, which they both have a soaring jump. Like Saboteur and them, they both have vanishing abilities. And then the other two abilities fall different and makes them unique in their own way. Saboteur has a sewer bomb, while Prowler has a scouting Fimulus. And it's basically like a... Um, like a tiny UAV, you can say. But long story short, there's two archetypes for each class. There's about eight player, eight, eight, eight customizable characters. So you guys can mix and match and go around and um, see how you guys like it. But overall, my favorite characters are Brute and Prowler. I don't know what it is about those two classes. I maneuver pretty quick and I do pretty good with those two classes. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick with them. But they will be dropping newer ones as the game progresses longer but we'll just have to see game modes and gameplay like any other battle royale of course there's a solo duos trios there's also a team deathmatch there isn't any quads in this but mind you you do have to keep this in mind when you quay for any of these game modes you might wait an extra minute or two because that's just due to the community how many people in the player base there is. It's not that many people who play this in general. So just keep that in mind. 